Okay, okay. Today is September 9, 2021, and I just, um, I wasn't going to record even. This is very, very difficult video to record. This is the stuff I was actually advised not to record. Yeah, I was told by Americans not to record this stuff. Um, because it's, um, it's risky. It's risky because I was told if you're going to record this, uh, you can be in danger because somebody can say that you are aggressive or something like that. Uh, walking out uh, at night and stuff like that. It, it was all kinds of stuff. They, they gestured me not to, not, not to record. This is very important for me, however. Uh, to record. It is extremely, extremely important for me. Uh, in fact, I'm really, really proud about uh, a video I created today. That's a really, really good video I created today. Now, oh, let's see, this stuff is already on or is not. This was published on the video was published on September the 6th 2021 and you can see uh, I title one it's a lot related to British but foremost the heaviest part in the video related to Milan Kuchan and Borat Pahor. Borat Pahor now um, a Slovenian president uh, seems like he's going to be meeting with some interesting people tomorrow. SDA and UCOM. Um, interesting how he became motivated in supporting a Muslim community in Slovenia. Uh, basically everything now looks completely different than it did before. Oh, this is the man who was involved. This is the man who was actually even present in 2002, just as I explained here uh, in this video. When I did ask in front of him, in front of other politicians, prominent politicians, Slovenian politicians, on our way back from Šmarieta, To Novo Mesto. It was a nice, beautiful walk, and we would be walking next to the Kirka River. Along the Kirka River, we would be coming back. Uh, I, I think the location must have been but just about this one here. Exactly the location. It must have been here somewhere. Actually, I am thinking maybe a little further. Let me think. Let me think the location, exact location. Uh, it, it must have been something here. It must have been along this thing here. Somewhere here. I would say whatever that is. On the road below that you see. See the road below. And uh, that's not such a busy traffic road. We'll be coming back and I would... Um, talk to George Bush. George Bush was a president. The year was 2002 and it's something I already did. Something I already mentioned. Asked others uh, Americans who knows what. Uh, on at least two other occasions I did ask them uh, if there would be a possibility uh, for me to uh, actually for the US in this case, obviously, U.S. Uh, somehow uh, conduct operation against Slovenia, such as a nuclear uh, option, so that the U.S. military would exercise a nuclear attack on Slovenia. I was extremely, extremely serious, very much interested. Um, something that I have to know, I, I heard like, what was the guy that would accompany, it was a guy, a police officer, English speaking, Slovenian, 
just like myself, Slovenian English speaking, who who listen to everything, everything. They had him specially uh, on a special detail that with just every step I would do whenever I would communicate with the English speaking, that he would just. Uh, other than that, uh, I remember there was a teacher here of English language, also for that nature. Mm -hmm. He came to me. Uh, but this was a police officer, and when he heard me talking to Bush uh, about this subject, uh, a group or Bush was came from some other direction, and we came from another direction, and we continued proceeded toward Nova Mesa together as one group, along of course with Slovenian politicians, both power. And when he heard me talking about this, it was like I I um I heard him like it was like ah uh, you know ah uh, uh, stop hey 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 uh he tried to stop me and uh extremely extremely nervous um I, I completely rejected him, I dismissed him, I totally dismissed him, and I continued to, uh, like, in, in a such a way like he did not even exist there, basically. Like, I was not even drugged up in a such a way, because it was such an important subject for me to discuss with George Bush, President of the United States of America, basically to... engage in a nuclear bombing of Slovenia. Uh, and he talked to me, he talked about some words, about other stuff with somebody else, and then I cut in between this, if this would be possible. And George was in, in, in a shock. He was in a complete disbelief. What he heard, uh, it left him with I would say almost trauma. And he said no. And I said, why not? Why not? And in meanwhile, the Slovenian already heard about this. Uh, they wanted to put me away, this and that, and I would not let. And George stopped that. And we, we continued to talk. I was completely on business. Whenever I wanted to accomplish something, if it was. Uh, I really was, uh, you know, in a world of my own, basically. You know, but this is the world Slovenian government created here in Slovenia, for which a government of the United States of America was not even aware of. It was in 2000 until they had no fucking idea about this. They knew that some bad stuff went on, but they did not, they had no fucking idea about it was so bad. So, from that moment on, I kind of lost George Bush as an ally because he became afraid. Uh, associating with someone like myself, even when I was subject to MK Ultra, he became afraid. Uh, it was a, such a difficult subject I brought that. Um, I left him speechless. Uh, he would come to Slovenia since 95, 96, 96 I think. Not 95, no, 96, since 96. But this subject I brought, this, this was a little bit way too much for him to handle. Uh, and frankly, from diplomatic point of view, this was a very, very heavy subject I brought. Subject which, on other occasions, I already bought twice to others, which they keep somehow silent about it. But the American psychologist, Rex Daniel Smith, somehow did get a hold of this conversation. He was very concerned for me, very attentive and started to protest that there is some kind of violence going on against me and that, that American diplomacy must demand what's going on in Slovenia and this and that. And successfully, according to Rex, 
uh, obtained the records about what went on completely entirely in 2004. This records did nothing good for me. Yeah, I was left for that in 2006. I was thrown out of the U.S. in the most despicable possible way. And I had no right to even return after everything in, in stay in the U.S., leave normal life in 2010. Uh, and then Obama became president. Uh, and uh, it went from worse to worse. End up inside of the mental hospital, tortured. I mean, this, this, was, this was despicable. Um, and George Bush knew absolutely, absolutely everything, and that's why I have to blame you for it, sir. Uh, about what I'm about to release now in this video, the abuse, the beatings, something my neighbor indicated me the very same day from the video once right now I'm going to release one he is from this area he learned about it everybody learned about this he bitched me that he is from here from Shmarieta let's talk about Giannis Petralin of course a neighbor that I should never that I don't even dare to say anything like this uh, about his city Shmarieta basically this is just like two hours away from our home. Walk. Two hours of walk from our home. Um, oh, this is... This is... Um, This is what this is. Google not elaborating. At two hours and twenty four minutes, about eleven kilometers walk to this place here. Um now it, it will always do it like this we will always go right here it's it's more it's 12 uh and as i stated uh, charles would often times quite a few times he would continue to go to serenity so that's basically where melania trump is from but this subject i brought was actually this subject I brought was so scary this subject I brought was so scary uh, because it was in front of Slovenian politicians without uh, any kind of concern I completely disregarded them uh, uh, scary because it demonstrated in demonstrated the first I'm gonna demonstrate you a video I did the other day when I came to that uh, to this place, Shmarieta, what exactly I felt once I came in. Uh, because it demonstrated that along seven years of torture, and once I'm done with that video, I'm going to demonstrate to you psychologically exactly how I felt in 1995. I was brought twice to Slovenia, to Europe in 1995. Twice, however, was torture. In 1995, once I left the ship, Meridian, of celebrity cruise lines it was a very very short year in the u.s somehow uh but it was much longer here in europe though um once i'm done demonstrating this video i'm gonna explain to you why it's so scary how my mind actually worked under mk ultra um why is it that that the politicians got so scared because this was a place that we visited the seven years for seven years we would come to visit um this location uh before i actually started to ask right in front of slovenian politicians on the mk ultra subject to mk ultra drugged up 
about the nuclear option possibility against Slovenia. Yeah, director of the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. This this place here, this 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 guy actually threatened me. They did brought me here drugged up when I was. They would bring me over the course of the years to this place here. This is the city center. Well, Boyan Zalar is his name. Uh, you know, everything I said, anything I said good about the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, especially I'm disgusted with people right almost here from the city where I'm from. This is just three hours away, you know. They read about what was done to me inside a psychiatric hospital, false accusations. They knew about all this stuff. Uh, and this was a big secret. This was a, this big secret from this psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. This is just three hours away. I am like in in almost. I didn't know where this place was, but they told me one time you're gonna find one. You're gonna find one, and then it's gonna be depend on you how you're gonna see things. You're fucked. You're fucked. You are fucked, every one of you, inside of the psychiatric hospital. You committed the worst crimes possible. You're fucked. You're so fucked, you have no idea how fucked you are now. That's how fucked you are. You have done nothing for me, absolutely nothing for me. What you have done is you earned money for yourself and you promoted, you wanted to promote to a completely false cause that did not concern you in absolutely any way from the day you committed so much crime in absolutely any way at my expense that's what the fuck you wanted to do and you know what what else you screw this country up you took me in this country i probably received ten thousand death threats through you you poisoned this country you screw this country up taking me through the villages like this one and demonstrating to the people pointing people lies which you have later on even written on false accusations against me for which you had no physical proofs whatsoever based on which you have hospitalized me and ruined my life basically you're fucked probably for that kind of stuff a death sentence probably for every one of you is just the right completely justified penalty for every fucking one of you Undoubtedly, Mr. Boyan Zalar, director of psychiatric hospital. You see, director of psychiatric hospital, Boyan Zalar, was... Uh, well, he always claimed his, his torture, commitment to torture, to physical, psychological torture under MK Ultra was uh, without any kind of limitations. He did not limit himself to the degree of torture. Um, but he always blamed that it's coming from the top on him and he, that he had to do this. Uh, but when you said top, it, it, uh, it clearly indicated that individual enjoyed torture. He enjoyed in the torture because it wasn't Pahor Kuchan, it was also Lukashenko that became a top and Russians and so on. Uh, it wasn't about Slovenia anymore, whatever would take place. It was about Belarus and against the Russians, whatever took place too. Um, so it was always from the top and in, in an individual to whom he in charge, whenever he was occupied doing some other stuff, was a therapist, a uh, recreation therapist, Vinko, a very, very nice person. Otherwise, I met when I was institutionalized inside a psychiatric 
hospital Ljubljana Polje um, a very nice person otherwise but he was the one who would miserably not only torture but would miserably break balls to the girls including Andrea that would walk along us all the girls that would walk from the psychiatric hospital one of the staff that we have he would miserably break them balls for engaging in a normal behavior as we would bo walk uh, whatever toward normal mesto whatever uh, the men uh, and charge them with the torture tasks and stuff like this during MK Ultra. Um, a little earlier I said scary you now let me demonstrate let me let me demonstrate to you why scary uh, what I stated on the video is absolutely not true in 95 in 96 and 97 in this little tiny little settlement there was more than 500 death threats uh, in this little tiny settlement the parents would never ever bring me the only time the parents would bring me to this settlement to this place was one time when I was however institutionalized inside a psychiatric hospital with Bionna Polia and whatever the hell I would say it would do me no good other than a lot a lot a lot of harm the accusation psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje yeah, for this individual right here like I said his name is Boyan Zalar handed me claimed that I committed myself to extermination of Slovenes Roma Jews uh, that I wanted to exterminate all the Slovenian people this was the accusation I Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polia handed me in my hands once incarcerated in there, once I brought from home, thrown there and tortured. Uh, this man here involved since 95 called me a German. He called me um, I will not forget when I was inside of his home with a daughter he had cats and play with the cats and we played in his room inside of his house he played with his cats and I, I played cats and once I demonstrated affection for these cats it was time to go he had kittens uh, his daughter came and looked at me weird he said he wanted to know about this German Slovenian in 1995 uh, people when observing the torture the type of torture this individual and others engaged in front of the partisan memorials Berger Mr. Berger Miroslav asked me not to mention Mr. Stanonik and so I will not because I think that I think that he didn't know. I, I, I just say this was a president of the partisan movement. Let's say this man did not understood. Uh, this man did not, to him, the whole thing didn't make sense. Let's say in my eyes, uh, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to go against. Um, I will leave something. I can't go. I'm not going to touch him. Too bad. Too damn bad he died. But this individual here, uh, this individual whose mentor was Milan Kuchan, this guy was merciless. This is a president of Slovenia right now. This is a president of Slovenia. For real. Involved against me since 95. What was scary is a fact that nobody in Slovenia, in entire Slovenia, forget about the politicians, but people, people in Slovenia involved in MK Ultra know me from my being more loyal to Slovenia, knew me as a nationalist, as a Slovenian nationalist, knew me as somebody like fanatical about Slovenia, fanatical about uh, 
Slovenes. Native Slovenian native fanatical about Slovenia who however in 2002 was asking about Mr. George Bush if he would by any chance along uh, intervention in other countries abroad have time to nuke my country Slovenia that was as fucking scary as it gets especially because this was in front of all these big Slovenian delegation politicians uh, you can only imagine the awkwardness of the situation Americans declined to fulfill the requirement minimum requirement concerning American citizen brought for torture from abroad from United States of America as Bush George Bush did this you did this he supposedly never was in Slovenia never were anywhere in Europe between 95 to mid 2006 that's for over 11 and a half years brought me here beginning with the Clinton for torture they would do whatever they please with me here in Slovenia finally in 2004 they got all the documents concerning this city here Šmarieta which uh, situation was actually much 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 more dire than what I said inside of the video and I correct this here as I published the news two days ago on September the 4th 2021 today by the way is September the 6th, 2021. Must have received more than a thousand death threats. Um, this response to the violence in this settlement alone. And let me demonstrate to you something else. I don't know if I did this. I did demonstrate. I stated from Ljubljana to Ptuj when I went for the car the other day and I went through the on a rail road through the rail station uh, through ra uh, every rail every station we would get out and the go they would take me out from the train you understand this every station train station look at that you will understand this, you want to like it, this. Every station, train station, all the way to Slovenska Bistica, that, that, that's when it's over anyways. Something like this, I don't know how far. But every station, they would load me out, the Vinko did, from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana they would take me out and they would have group of people that would engage in a street abuse that American described like as if you would walk on the streets of Iraq and you would have people attacking jumping in your face like drugged up imagining people spitting in your face yelling screaming abuse and so on and this shit went on for many 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 years and that's why i said the other day i said this when i written I have written on my news site that i received ten thousand death threats yeah in slovenia alone probably in slovenia alone regardless of belarus and russia and poland and of course serbia and elsewhere that's what this shit here was everywhere all over slovenia this is what the psychiatric hospital ljubljana poly did this is what the psychiatric hospital ljubljana poly did this is what they did to me for 23 years they were doing this this um 
scary was this is what the scariest part was that nobody was in real life nobody was more patriotic and also on that MK Ultra, I, uh, I took numerous beatings numerous demands in my face that I have to submit myself to Yugoslavia uh, that I have to compromise that I have to put my faith in the hands of Serbs it's going to be Yugoslavia here. This was demanded from me 24-7 on MK Ultra. Relentlessly, I declined. Relentlessly, I declined absolutely everything in real life to be addressed as other than Slovenian. American. Slovenian, American. Uh, and when the stuff like this came out of my mouth, boy, Benjamin Netanyahu was, he said, you're scary, man. He said, you're scary, eh? And um, I did not understand anything. Why? You know, everybody all of a sudden was like, uh, there was no more um, uh, entertainment so much as it was before. Even less entertainment was in Belarus. Let me demonstrate to you this. In 2002, simultaneously to this. Yeah, I had uh, enough of it, enough of this help. It's a Belarus. It's also a place where they would bring me for beatings. They would bring me here for beatings. For seven years already, beatings. Um, the country worse uh, than Poland was Belarus and Vinko from Psychiatric Hospital claimed that no, we're going to get to that. At the end of the video, I'll explain that it was per Poland, solidarity with the Poland. Uh, but really, uh, when I said earlier from a bow, when applying to Bola Lazar, uh, Boyan Lazar, this individual took orders uh, from everybody, from, um, from Chetniks, from Serbia, and including the Lukashenko. This was his boss. This here was his boss, indifferent from Milan Coach and indifferent from Bart Pahor. This here was his boss too. Breaking me balls, anything that this man didn't like about, it went right, basically, it went straight to this man and this was the man who would either torture personally or would have this individual Vinko designated if not torturing himself, which most often he did, he would get others also involved to basically to cover his ass. Yeah? Um, scary. This is when um, everybody started to get afraid of me because always, um, you know, I would, I would go about and I would just let whatever you know do and then I will basically go fuck off and this and that disregard them and go but in 2002 uh, things became really scary because the scariest country for everybody knew was Belarus if you came to Lukashenko it, it was nothing but beatings abuse terror uh, that pretty much all there was scary because in 2002 uh, still very very polite as it was uh, however, very, very much business. We would land with a plane one time, and I was uh, with American, and he said, uh, I said, where are we? Uh, he said, uh, okay, we landed, let's go. And I said, w where are we? And he said, uh, it's Minsk, it's Belarus. I said, oh, I said, but uh, I told you not to take me anymore in Belarus. I knew where we were. I told you not to take me to Belarus anymore. He said, oh, well, let's go. I said, okay. Uh, as soon as we got uh, not past Belarus authorities, they, they came. It's when I stroke with the fists. And I put a tremendous physical fight. They drugged me up. They put me away. They woke me up, and it didn't take a few minutes 
for another physical beating I took aim at. I attacked again physically with absolutely everything I had. I disregarded all the threats, everything. I spit, I bit, I punched. That's when it got fucking scary. Not electroshocks, no shit. No exit from Belarus and return helped any longer. Not even beautiful ladies, American ladies, that would have along, that would have me walk next to them anymore would help to Belarus. Whenever I was brought to Belarus, whenever I heard something about Belarus, it was the same thing like in front of the partisan memorials. Whenever they would pro brought me to partisan memorials, I would start to curse. I would lunch at them, abuse, start take things in my hands. In Belarus, Lukashenko said, you are endangering entire operation. You no longer will come to Belarus. That's why two years down the road as they were trying to bring me to Belarus on every occasion, regardless of threats, regardless of the stuff they do, which resulted every one of them in a fist fights, in unprecedented physical violence, this time from my side. It didn't matter anymore even if the person was nice, such was the case with a girl Tatiana, I dated in 2017 when I came to Belarus. She wanted to date me despite she knew. The only one I didn't hit really was woman. Other than that, I hit everything. Any kind of male, uh, nice or not nice. Where are we in Belarus? Oh, okay. Boom. I didn't even say anymore. What did I tell you? What did I told you? I didn't even, I didn't repeat this anymore. It was just boom. That's all there was. Uh, yeah, I did. In 2004, I think it was that I didn't hit Tatiana. I didn't do this to the ladies. I didn't do this, but I did push her like this. Uh, her face, I, I covered the face. I said, no, I don't want. You don't want me? That was like uh, unprecedented. She was involved in Kyoto since 95. And yeah, sure, I always tolerated her. Tolerated other ladies too. But no, Belarus, no. And so Lukashenko told me from 2005, for you, Belarus, no more. So they didn't bring me anymore to Belarus. Uh, but that's why they designated Sergei from Belarus. Uh, the military, the soldier, the commando to come to Slovenia instead. And said you're gonna have a Belarusians and Russians coming to Slovenia instead because you don't tolerate Belarus anymore. We no Russia, no no Belarus, this and that. The Russia still was uh they would still bring me to Belarus, uh but that was it pretty much. Uh the technology they would use uh, Joe Biden did because he was the I couldn't tolerate him either um, once uh, I'm just gonna give you an example once uh, you uh, they, they didn't allow that you would recognize them it was a familiar face that would get into you under MK ultra smiling nice once you rejected one uh, he would quickly pull his cheek before you would have your brain uh, engage enough uh, in uh, go where, going over his background and then before you know he would just disappear the picture. Otherwise, um, once person rejects you under MK Ultra, uh, if the person is somewhat intelligent, uh, this person you will reject you for infinity of time. This is basically just the way it is under MK Ultra, so you know, because I know exactly how, you know, 23 years of MK Ultra on your subject, you know, in and out, absolutely every little thing. Uh, this is how uh, Biden continued to pull uh, his dirty stuff. Uh, in some shit, he would pull extremely dirty, insultive stuff, derogatory. On other occasions, he would pull something really pleasant and nice claiming how he's considered for you and so on, so he could pull the dirty stuff. But before you know, every time he would just not allow for you to recall and act on time. 
as per exactly knowing whom you're dealing with. Basically, this is the way that's done. Um, I thought that this is a really, really important for you to understand why scary. Uh, this is this is precisely the way it was. I, I got some uh, flattering uh, words from the world of boxing from all the side that I am uh, all kinds of stuff they told me uh, but um, it, it it's it's unimaginable to me that that uh, <laughs> psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Poly actually handed me uh, in my hands in 2013 a paper where it stated that I am the one who wants to exterminate Roma and Jews and Slovenian people, uh, all of them. This is unprecedented. Now let me tell you something how it all worked in Shmarieta, psychologically, so you can relate to that. So that you understand what they did, so that you, as Slovenians, understand what a psychiatric hospital in Blana Polje did exactly. In 95, it all started in front of memorials, partisan memorials, uh, accused as a stuff I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, then they took me to Shmarieta, and I would get probably in a single day 50 to 100 threats. It was from one house to the other, and it lasted the whole fucking day. You didn't have to say anything. Uh, what does that mean for you when you're not used to This was the first city in Slovenia that engaged in this kind of criminal activities. Uh, what that means basically is like, let's say you, you're drugged up. Uh, I don't think in real life any one of you would, how would you react if somebody would come to you and start to go that he's going to punch you and this and that in the face, call you names and stuff like this. Uh, call you something that you are not, that you are Nazi, and, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, probably that you would say something to him, but these people from psychiatric hospital did not allow the answer of any kind. They told me, Vinko told me, just pay attention to what he is saying to you. Uh, this Vinko was a very bad person, eh? Uh, just pay attention to what he is saying to you. Pay attention. Do you understand? Comply. Uh, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Brought the fucking school. Uh, wow. Uh, and so on and so forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Nothing all day but uh, this kind of stuff. And uh, claiming that I am German, that I am German, uh, that I am... It, not Slovenian and so on. It makes no fucking sense. This is, this, this is crazy. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Um, because it didn't make no fucking sense, and because you're not allowed to, 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 to say anything back. This is no way to communicate. There's no way anything. You just exactly what I described to you, and you get spit, punched. Um, I, I, uh, I, I, I started to communicate with a psychiatric guy, Vinko. Uh, I mean, it didn't matter, even if he's the worst enemy in the world, he's going to give me at least some fucking answers, because he was all in charge for it, and was the only person uh, willing to communicate. And so I'm not sure, was it 95, maybe it was already in 96, that I came, uh, that I started to express a real interest uh, a real interest. It must have been already in 96. Or maybe even 97, I don't know. But I know it was not the first year. I was no, I know it was not many times I was brought there. And then it was. It started again. Maybe two years down the road. I started to ask about this Domo Branci, about this Home Guards, uh, and about the Germans, knowing that the fucking World War II ended. I wasn't that stupid, I wasn't that stoned, but in this crazy fucking world of MK Ultra, I uh, wanted to start to believe into almost, uh, well, definitely into almost imagination, except that 
Germans do exist, Italians do exist, there was World War II, there were home guards in Slovenia, uh, and in fact, if uh, this is what the fuck I am, that's what they claim me, that this is what I was, um, I couldn't change fact that world ended, the World War II ended, I wanted, I started to think about about something else. I started to plot actually that maybe that since I am destined to be since I'm rated to be something like this which I have nothing to do with it and it didn't make sense like I said that you would go and even try to communicate. There was no way to even try to obtain some kind of breach, some kind of way that I could relate myself to, to, to this individual, that I could talk, that I could, that I could say, uh, please, uh, can you help me? I am not what you are saying or something like this. Because it was so indignifying, it was so insulting from such a point of view, when I thought about, when, as I walked the other day back, how I felt during those moments. Um, It, it it felt in a such a it was a, such a nonsense that you would even try to ask for help you understand even ask for fucking help that I wanted to actually learn about or other uh, about about these Germans and about the home guards this this Schmarietta woke in me, awoke in me something that never existed in me. Uh, actually, the curiosity for a home guards and for the Germans from the view from their perspective on our Slovenian people. Completely unheard of because from both sides of the family, we are from the partisan family, from both sides, from mom and father. I wouldn't have no fucking way. Till then, Probably this was 97, even how to think about on something like this from some kind of perspective like this. And this people of Shmarieta accomplished, people of Shmarieta, that's almost 10 kilometers from here. Congratulations on that. Um, I don't actually imagine how exactly did they how do people like this from my own country, how the fuck they read news that I published one, uh, knowing that I'm inside of the mental hospital and all this, accept no responsibility whatsoever for the stuff they did along the Sergei Hospital, Ljubljana uh, Polia. That's a very, very, very extremely, extremely hollow conscience that I have to attribute Slovenian people with. The only credit I take is in sacrifice, which I do believe in. Some people did die for my sake and in fact died, not only died, but died along the way. Because I think that the system acted with extreme prejudice against Slovenian nation. Uh, concerning this case, and so I think that quite a few people were killed. But other than that, uh, if it wasn't for that, I would no longer even believe in, in, in this nation. Uh, this is how atrocious a shit psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje uh, committed in this case. It is unprecedented. This is a crime unprecedented. That's why I said um, no, these girls from Ljubljana Polia, they did not, they did not, they, 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 these girls became, became afraid. The whole psychiatric hospital hunted uh, people of their own. Uh, people started to get afraid of for their own ass, but this guy Boyan Zalar and this guy Vinko, this is not, this was not okay, this was, this was definitely not okay. And these two guys were definitely not okay. 
probably some other Muja already took off uh, to Belgrade. Um, it makes no point in talking about the Chetniks they employed. Uh, but the Slovenian psychiatry uh, has a lot, a lot to answer in respect to this case. This is um, unprecedented, unprecedented crime. Now, this is this is basically uh, that's so I wanted to share with you uh, how something like this actually was uh, accomplished, how that stuff was gone, uh, was done. Uh, Slovenian uh, Shmarieta. No, oh, I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna go back here. This is a very, 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 um, very, very bad. Uh, I'm not gonna say very, very bad place, uh, but um, very, very. Um, let's see this here. Yeah, you can't even see this stuff here. I see this, you cannot even see it here. But let me see if I can... Um, this here, uh, that all depends what year. Yeah. This was done... Um, this is, what is 2013? They built some kind of an extra uh, complex here. I remember they brought me like in 2013. Uh, and um, they hosted people like Michael Jordan. Uh, so of course, Mike Tyson was a regular. Serena Williams. Holyfield, this place here called, uh, this, this is what they called uh, Williams, Williams, uh, I'm going to put the photos on, I, I want to take uh, from the daytime, daytime is what I want to do, I take some photos in respect to that. Uh, built houses and rented these houses. They would rent them. Michael Jordan, when they would come here, they would just rent this, uh, rented them entire housing, basically houses. So well, let me see if maybe I have it here. Um, okay, okay. Ah, there you go. This is like a Bar Williams, that became like a Bar Williams. Ah, you can't see that, clearly you can't. Uh, but, um, that was the time when I promoted the rights of the South African people, this white South African uh, minority in South Africa. Uh, and uh, in Slovenia, they would they would just collect the money, right? This in the Shmoreta, they would collect the money. They would instead rent uh, apartments, basically, really to what I would refer to as a black power. Black power is basically movement which regarded itself the, with beginnings of Obama as more like a communist party movement because that's what Obama did. He started a communism, created a strong bond with the Chinese, I understand. Um, but this was not for the sake of solidarity or anything like this. This was more for the sake of cover your ass in case they got us and started to build the empire on uh, fake human rights issues by calling for, you know, uh, citing injustice within the American system while at the same time killing white people through the lice. And like I said, I don't even consider myself as a white. This stuff, this shit is white and black and all this. This is between the white and black racists, but uh, know that black racists uh, do exist. Know that. 
Okay, please understand that black racists, black extremists do exist. Just want you to understand what exactly happened here over the course of the years uh, so that you will uh, you will have a better idea. This is, this is this place here, which owner got in my face and claimed Williams that he put the formula on so that I would he said that you're gonna put the formula here so that you cannot prove anything, but really he meant Serena Williams. She was big here along Mike Tyson, Lennox, Louis Lennox, Michael Jordan. In this new complex that they build in this Brezovitz or whatever, they would boast about how wonderful it is, uh, bring them easy ladies. The politicians, Slovenian politicians would straight from Ljubljana which I understand, this is a coach on related people. Would they would take bribe for the political purposes? Did Lennox, Louis Lennox, Mike Tyson, Holyfield, Michael Jordan, did manage to corrupt Slovenian officials, bribe them for the political purposes? There was no trace of Obama is solidarity anywhere. Uh, his solidarity could be seen at Martha Stewart's wine yards, the property, the big ass property, the wealth the guy piled up, uh, and a politic which substituted otherwise in foreign nations is production of petroleum, uh, or industry with manufacturing of lice. Especially I distance myself from white and black because this, this to me, this whole thing is like it's some kind of imperial politic. It's like it, it appears to me that this white and black Nazis actually can work really, really well together with one another and they become united as one, a really, really deadly force. Um, the rest of it I will leave up to you uh, but for me taking sides one or the other is completely unacceptable I have to see it from my Slovenian side you understand? I should say human side that's all I want to say for this video I hope you enjoyed I hope this was uh, some food for thought. Till next time.